I am in the somewhat uncommon position of not being my brother, but at the same time knowing him very, very well. Those of you who do know him, I will be giving you, hopefully, some sort of an explanation for why he acts the way he does and how he is. And for those of you who do not know him, I hope to um, give you an idea of what it is like to have this person as a brother. First step, you'll want to look like him. Uh, as far as clothes go, jeans and a t-shirt are okay roughly 50% of the time, so I'm doing okay there. But then, for the other 50% of the time, you will want a more brightly colored collared shirt with either a bow tie or a regular tie. I gave it an effort to tie the bow tie, it wasn't gonna happen. You'll also want to grow facial hair, though I did not have enough time to do so in the recording of this video. Next, you'll want to learn how to act like Steven. A good way to start this is to figure out how to solve a Rubik's Cube. You can do this by looking it up online, but that's not optimal, as you'll need to learn to think like him before long, and figuring this out will be a very nice first step. While you're driving, which I'm not doing since vlogging while driving sounds like a terrible idea to me, you'll want to make sure that the seat is like so, behind you so that you actually have to have good posture in order to keep your back straight. Also, if you ever hear the Taylor Swift song, what's it called? Trouble. Do not, under any circumstances, listen to the version that does not have a screaming goat inserted into it. Now that's a weird sentence. In order to accomplish this, you may need to scream like a goat during the appropriate moments in the song. Keep your reading scientific. You should also learn to sleep polyphasically. He himself had just made an excellent video on how to do that, which I will link to in the description. <laughs> Go ahead and do that whenever you feel like. Strange noises are a completely acceptable and encouraged method of beginning a conversation. Now that you are able to look like Steven and act like Steven, you need to learn to think like Steven. Ideally, your first step will be to become interested in mathematics. But don't let anybody teach you mathematics. You need to figure every single step out for yourself. For instance, if you have a graph that is curved, try to figure out what the slope is at any given point. That is, of course, unless you already know calculus, and in which case you should find a more difficult problem to solve for yourself. While interacting with others, you'll want to take everything they say and strip it down to only the basic facts, then evaluate those facts in comparison with the facts that you already know, and disregard anything else. Never allow yourself to become bored at any point. If you're not sure what to do, think just a little bit until you've figured out something that sounds like it's probably not incredibly dangerous, but don't consider too in-depth whether or not it actually is incredibly dangerous. When you need to figure out what things are good and what things are bad, use numbers whenever possible. How many people does this harm? How much does it harm them? Who benefits? Make sure not to come to any conclusions before you've considered absolutely everything that you have in your power to do. I hope this has been an interesting look at how my brother is. I will see you on Thursday. And as a bonus today, I'm going to show you how to replace a car headlight using nothing but magic. Now, step one, make sure the car is running. You want the car to be on for this. Step two is to pop the hood. Now you walk around here, look at that nice on headlight, and that one's not doing anything. So what you do, you open that up, and you say the magic word. What's a good magic word? I like onomatopoeia. Okay, so you say the magic word, which is onomatopoeia. And then, what you'll want to do is just close the hood. And car headlights working using nothing but magic. There you go.